Assalamu alaikum brother. My name is Farida Ansari. I am a laboratory technician. Quran says, Allah is the creator of the human being. Does science agree with it? The sister posed the question that the Quran mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the human beings. Does science agree with it? And Quran says in several places, including the last verse of the embryological stages, that is Surah Mu'minun, chapter 23, verse number 14, that Allah is the best to create. Can we prove it scientifically that Allah is the creator? Quran gives the answer. Quran gives the answer in Surah Tur, chapter 52, verse number 35. It poses a question that were you created from nothing? See, the Arabic word used for creator in all the verses of the Quran is khalik. It's derived from the Arabic word khalaka. Arabic word khalaka has got four meanings. One meaning is to create something from nothing without any previous example. That's only possible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second meaning of khalaka is to create something new from pre-existing material. The third meaning is of khalaka, programming or planning. And the last meaning is to make smooth. So Quran poses the question in Surah Tur, chapter 52, verse 35, that were you created from nothing? But naturally the answer is negative. No. Human beings aren't created from nothing. They pose the next question. Were you the creators or we the creators? We know very well that man cannot create another man. If he could do that, then the moment he died, he would have created himself back. If his relatives would have died, he would have brought them back to life. Human beings can't even create a living creature such as fly, live as a human being. Neither can you attribute the organs of the body, say the reproductive organs, like testes or ovaries, that they are the cause for a creation. Because if you say that the testes, the uterus, etc. are the cause, then you have to include your ancestors, their reproductive system, their ancestors, their ancestors, all are responsible. So the answer is negative. Quran poses the next question in Surah Waqiyah, chapter 56, verse number 58 and 59, that do you not look at the sperm you have emitted? Were you the creator or we the creator? And but natural, all these questions that Quran poses, the answer is negative. Some people can say it's by chance. By chance we were created. They say nature, nature. Natural thing. It happened by chance. Let's analyze scientifically whether the human beings can be created by chance. The protein molecule is a very important structure of the living cell. Very important part in the living structure of the cell. The protein molecule consists of five elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur. And there are tens and thousands of atoms required to make one molecule. One atom has five elements, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur. There are tens of thousands of atoms which make one protein molecule. And there are approximately 92 free elements. The chances that out of these 92, the five will form an atom and these atoms will form tens and thousands of atoms to form one protein molecule was calculated by Frank Alien. And he said the chances are one in 10 raised to 160. You know what is the meaning of one in 10 raised to 160? If I say one in 10 raised to two, 10 raised to two means one zero zero, two zeros, one in 100. Chances one percent. If I say one in ten raised to three, it means one in a thousand. That's point one percent. If I say one in ten raised to four, it means one in ten thousand. Means point zero one percent. So when the calculation was made, one in ten raised to hundred and sixty, it means point zero 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 hundred and fifty seven zero then one. And mathematics tells anything 1 in raised to 10 raised to 50 is counted as 0. Furthermore, this is talking about one molecule. 
and the substance required to form this one molecule of protein was calculated by another person, Charles Guy. That it will require millions of times of substance as huge as our galaxies. Millions of galaxies will require to form this one molecule of protein. And the time was calculated by Charles Guy. The time taken for one protein molecule to be formed will be 10 raised to 263 years. You know what is that? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 263 zeros it will take to form one protein molecule. And do you know there are how many protein molecules in one cell? And do you know how many other molecules are there in the cell? And how many cells are there in the human being? There are more than 6 billion molecules when a child is born. That's what doctors tell us today. 6 billion. One more protein molecule takes 1 in 10 raised to 160 chances. Time taken is 10 raised to 243 years. To take 6 billion for one baby, imagine. And how many women are pregnant? There are millions of women pregnant at a time. And it takes only 9 months. The chances science tells us is zero, zero, zero. No chance at all. These things cannot take by chance. They have to be programmed by someone. Science tells us there has to be someone. Some supernatural force. Therefore, science, as I said earlier, is not eliminating God. It is eliminating models of God. La ilaha illallah. Hope that answers the question.